The 2023 AFL mid-season draft is just under a fortnight away with state level players around the country all hoping and praying that clubs will see their hard work and pick them up in an attempt to unearth the next John Noble or Sam Durham. Here are the players I think will be in the mix to be snatched up and real quick I should say it is near possible to predict this draft unlike the national edition so I will almost certainly include someone here who won't be picked up and miss someone who will so let's embarrass myself. I should do a quick mini explanation of the draft because not all clubs can participate. This is for teams that have less players than others to simplify it. So if there is a player on the inactive injury list or a player that retired before the season started or during the season, or maybe the club just had one less player going into the year, if you have a list spot available, you can participate. So currently as it stands, Essendon, Fremantle, Geelong, Hawthorne, and the Bulldogs have a list spot from before the start of the season available. There is also the potential for teams like Brisbane, GWS, Port Adelaide, Sydney, and West Coast to place players on the inactive injury list if they want to pick up someone else while Richmond had Jason Castagna retire prematurely so they can do the same with him. I think I covered the possible clubs pretty much. Let me know if I missed one. It's entirely possible I did. We start with a player that is almost guaranteed to be snapped up early by one of the first few clubs. Ryan Marich, the dynamic midfielder forward is currently playing as an overager for Gippsland Power and has been very impressive kicking goals, clunking marks. He has turned heads with some performances most notably in round one against the Murray Bush Rangers when he kicked four goals to go along with his 23 disposals, so you can see why clubs want the guy. But West Coast have a decision to make. They currently hold pick one in the draft. They will have to choose between Marich or a local boy, Jack Buller, who is a key forward from Claremont that many compare to Port's uh, Charlie Dixon. Eagles fans would enjoy this matchup with Oscar Allen. The bulky pack crashing forward is dangerous, not just as an aerial threat, but because he doesn't let out of a one-on-one, -on -one, he brings the ball to ground as effectively as most. He is 22, fairly raw, but physically AFL ready, so he is an enticing one for both WA-based clubs. Robert Hansen Jr. is another one that WA clubs could be watching. The guy is a Western Australian this time out of Subiaco. He is an electric small forward who was called up to Western Australia's under-18 national team but missed out on the draft. He is quick, he is evasive, he is exciting, could be a fun pickup. There are a few rucks that you should take note of, starting with a project player, Clay Tucker, who is an overager at Eastern Rangers. He is 18 years old, 204 centimetres tall, and not too lean either. He is very physical, very athletic. He moves around the ground really well. It's hard to know if he will be ready for AFL minutes straight away though, but it could be a good uh, pickup for a club looking for some ruck youth. Another option for a club possibly struggling with ruck depth issues could be veteran Sam Naismith, who recently played at the Sydney Swans. He was killing it in the VFL with Port Melbourne, though he averages over 40 hitouts a game, I believe. So he is definitely someone who could come into a contending team for a year to help out with any injuries. Another young ruck to talk about with uh, Tucker and Naismith uh, is William Elliott. He is an Oakley Chargers 203 centimeter big man who rests up forward really dangerously. He isn't as pure a ruck as the other two but can play up the ground if needed so you could even make a case for him being a key forward resting ruck if needed. Similar to Naismith, a former AFL mature aged player could be returning, Oscar McDonald specifically. He is a key defender who played with Carlton and Melbourne, 86 games between the two and he has been great at a successful Williamstown team. He has had a few clubs eyeing him off, again for key defensive depth, not for any future success. Ethan Phillips is a younger key defensive option from Port Melbourne. He was in the VFL team of the year last year. He has experience on AFL level young four at just 23. He is not only projected to rise in quality, but could even be ready to play AFL footy if desperately needed. Quinton Nagel is a name mentioned a lot with the mid-season draft. He is a former Geelong player who has been at Essendon's VFL side, playing away, putting his name out there. He has won lots of the ball and been good up forward as well. He is still a good age, 25 in his physical prime, so has many years ahead of him if picked up. Riley Stoddart played a handful or so games for the Sydney Swans before being delisted, but the running defender has been in great nick in the VFL off halfback and sometimes through the guts as as well. He is quick, he is versatile, he is great by foot and still only 23 years old, plus he is a good leader, being named in multiple clubs' leadership groups. Richmond's VFL youngster Luke Teal was unlucky during his draft year. He battled some really nasty injuries, but now that he is fit, he is firing. He is playing really good footy in the resis and making a statement and case to be let onto an AFL list. He is a midfielder, but versatile enough to play both forward or back of the ball if needed as well. From Richmond's VFL to Collingwood's VFL, we have Jed Longmire, who is a reserves prospect that was overlooked as an over in the 2022 draft, so he is a tiny bit more experienced than the younger ones here. He has played some really good footy already. He is a project player. You don't see him dominating VFL games, but has supposedly been on the radar of some clubs. And I may as well end it here with Kobe Ryan. That is Kobe Ryan, not Kobe Bryant. He is an overlooked South Aussie from last year's draft. I spoke about him before, I believe, on this channel. He is a, a grunty, gutsy ball winner, and at 19, already looking the goods in the sand for West Adelaide. He averages over 20 touches a game. He gets his fair share of clearances, and this is 
a, a teenager still who is quite lean, so there is a lot of upside here. This is a kid that can play. There are plenty others that I won't go into detail with because the video will be too long, but some others in the mix are Sean Manor from Werribee, uh, former Essendon players Braden Ham and Trent Minot, uh, former Sydney cult figure Ben Ronk, uh, Connor McFadden who didn't play much at the Lions, Martin Frederick from Port, and some overlooked draftees like Jack Cleaver and Mitch Sibkowski. But that is that. Quick little video done. Let me know if I missed anyone who you are keen on, and subscribe to see more videos like this.